Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So judging by the title of this, <laughs> or if you're friends with me on Instagram or Facebook, you already know this, uh, but my husband and I are expecting baby number two. I do a lot of Scentsy videos and Scentsy reviews, um, wax reviews on this channel, and uh, I haven't been posting that much because just first trimester struggles and being sick and not really wanting to smell all kinds of wax so I kind of have been in and out with the videos whereas normally I've been okay with keeping them you know pumping them out so I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that is the reason why yeah <laughs> things have been a little busy lately uh, we are also probably going to be moving the end of this summer summer or by the end of this year so I have been crazy busy trying to get everything <laughs> ready and just cleaning out and between like nesting which has happened happening way sooner than last time and getting ready for a move I have just been like clearing everything out of our house so I have been extremely busy with that and there's another update too but I'm gonna save that one for a different video because I'm not quite ready to share that with share that with you guys but yeah so here it is so in this video I'm just gonna show you the day that I took the test and then I'm going to show you how I told Kevin and I've always wanted to do such a cute video and or have a cute video for memories on how I told Kevin that we were going to have another baby but I just get so nervous and so shaky and kind of excited and I just got to tell him like right now. So hopefully if we end up being able to have another one in the future, I want to make it more special. But for this one, I just kind of was like, here, open a stocking. <laughs> so, and I just, I couldn't wait. Like after I took it, I sat out in the living room and I was like, how am I going to do this? Cause I wanted to capture it on video. Uh, cause funny story, the first time, uh, I found out that I was going to have another baby or our first baby, I <laughs> had a dream that I was pregnant and it was 7, 7.30 in the morning and I just, I woke up and I was like, oh, you're, it was almost like a dream that I took a test and it was positive. I'm like, there's no way. Like we, we have been extremely, extremely blessed that we have, for the, our first child, we never tried per se. Uh, it just kind of happened and I know there are I, ha I have friends I have there's people that I know um, and they struggle with infertility and I my heart literally <laughs> breaks so much because it's almost like every time so well the two times that I've gotten a positive test I slightly feel guilty because I just I know there's so many people that struggle and I just uh, I feel just, I'm happy, but I just feel so heartbroken for those. Like I almost wish it was them and not me. Um, so, you know, if you if you're struggling with that, I am I am so sorry. My my heart literally breaks for you. And I, if you want me to, I I would be happy to pray for you. Um, and just really hope that it happens for you so but anyways what was I saying <laughs> lost my train of thought here oh I took the first test and I my heart literally felt like it was pounding out of my chest when I took this test and I just I took it and on a whim and I literally ran into our our bedroom and I shoved the test in Kevin's face and started crying because I was just like I'm too young for this like <laughs> I was 25 when it, with Brooklyn so I just I felt so young I felt so young like not ready to have a child but yeah it's turned out really well so after about eight months 
eight months, nine months postpartum, my husband was like, yeah, man, whenever you're ready. <laughs> I'm like, no, man, <laughs> not happening. So uh, I did not feel comfortable enough to have another one until she turned two. I was kind of ready about a year and a half, uh, but I had just started feeling really good because I struggled very, very, very poorly with uh, postpartum anxiety and postpartum depression. And I'm talking like crippling, crying all day, uh, just bursting into tears all the time, feeling like I couldn't do this. Very, very, very overwhelming. Um, postpartum was nothing like I was expecting it to be. Uh, so I was just not really ready for that. And I mean, it got so bad. I, I was on medication for a while and then I tried to come off of it and it was not working. So I finally was just like, okay, I'm going to take this for a little bit longer. And after about a year, I, I tapered off and I got off of it. It was really, really hard to come off of that. Um, but after about a year, I started feeling a little bit normal, a little bit better, and then after a year and a half, I remember, I felt 100% back to myself. So, it, postpartum is no, no joke. Um, so, after about a year and a half, I felt okay with it, but I just didn't feel like we were in the right place for that. Like, we, we don't have a house, and there's a reason for that. We are in an apartment to, number one, save up. Uh, number two, we paid off almost all of our debt uh, besides our student loans. So that was something that was really important to us is to get all that paid off. Um, and we have, and we have, we're stocking our savings to get a house. And so um, I always kind of feel <laughs> Like we should be in a house, but I know a lot of families that are in apartments too. It's just something that's personal for us. We just, we wanted to be in a house, more so me than my husband, but I wanted to be in a house. And especially now we have a two bedroom, two bath apartment, but we are quickly, quickly running out of space. The house just feels like it is caving in on us. And I have just been trying to clear out and get rid of as much as humanly possible. Um, so, yeah, that's where we are. <laughs> where was I going with that? Okay, so yeah, with this one, this one, we decided to, we went on vacation in December to Tennessee, which is one of our absolute favorite, favorite places to go uh, for, uh, it was a little before Christmas. So we love going out there. We got to see snow, like a huge snowfall, a snowfall, and we spent some family time and we kind of talked about it then. And I was like, okay, I think I'm ready. You know, by the time this one comes, we should be in a house. We should be set where we are financially. And, uh, you know, I just felt like we were, we were ready for that next step. And uh, let's see, that was December, well, that was December, yeah, and then I found out that December that we were pregnant, so it happened really fast, kind of scary fast, I was not expecting that, um, and again, we just feel so incredibly blessed, um, I just remember praying, like, okay, you know, when it's time, it's time, so, and I, I guess God said now, so, um, for this one, I thought I had PMFs symptoms, so I, I love my wine, I'm not gonna lie, I love my wine, I love Trulies, <laughs> it's just something that I really like, and so when we kind of were just letting it happen, I, I decided to take this test, which will, it apparently can tell you six days early if you are or, or not. And so I took one and it was five days early and I kept checking it all day, all day. And it was, it was negative. And so, uh, after that, let's see, I went out on a date and my husband and I split a bottle of wine and I literally felt like my period was going to come. So I wasn't worried about it. And then what was another time? I know there's another time I drank, 
like on the day it was due I not like drank drink but like I had I think I want to say I had two Trulies on the day that it was expected and then two days passed I'm like okay what's going on because I am very very like to a T and so I I had another dream that I was pregnant and so I went to go test and lo and behold and then I was freaking out because I'm like oh no I had alcohol <laughs> but um yeah the doctor said it should be fine it's it was super early so but yeah this one's been a little different just 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 a little different so far I am 16 weeks as of last Thursday so I'll be 17 this coming Thursday and it's been pretty similar um I would say I'm not as sick this time around I mean with Brooklyn it was uh like clockwork it was 3 a.m I was up dry heaving all night until like five uh and then and then I was pretty much okay I would feel a little sick during the day but that was it um this time around I only got sick once uh, but Unisum and B6 has been a lifesaver for me if you're pregnant now and you're struggling with morning sickness definitely ask your doctor if they haven't already told you because I with my first one I took Dicegis, Dicegis I think that's how you pronounce it don't quote me but I took that one uh, the insurance did not want to pay for it so it was going to be I th it was something ridiculous like $500 or something for like 30 tablets it was some, somewhere along those lines and I was like that's no nah, no nah, I'll just suffer and so they're like well technically it's and I can't remember the active ingredient but it's the active ingredient and unisom and b6 and the combination of those two just is amazing but unisom makes you very sleepy uh, so there are a few side effects to that it's very hard to get up it makes me groggy but I made it <laughs> I made it and this time I actually let's see I gained a couple pounds like three pounds in the first trimester whereas with Brooklyn I lost like five so it was much better but I, I have the same aversions not anymore but I did uh, to coffee and bacon I could not stand either one of those smells um, smells were bothering me but I did pretty much okay um, I have been craving onion rings <laughs> like no tomorrow and that's really hard when you're on a gluten-free and dairy-free diet but my husband and I ended up making some and they turned out really really well um, so it's that what else oh, I'm back to drinking one cup of coffee a day just one <laughs> um, hey but yeah so that's it. I'm probably going to talk a little bit more about this pregnancy just because I want to have these videos to remember. Um, and <laughs> so I want to have these videos to remember and uh, I don't know, answer any questions if you guys have any questions. But yeah, so I am 16 weeks today. I'll be 17 weeks on Thursday. Um, Brooklyn, this is Brooklyn. Brooklyn does not understand yet, and I haven't really told her like exactly what's happening. So, but anyways, so long-winded there. But uh, yeah, we're expecting baby number two in August, and we don't know the gender yet. Uh, we decided not to do genetic testing this time, um, and so we'll find out on the at the twenty-week mark. So. Hey Brooklyn, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, nah. uh. But anyways, so that's it for this video. Um, <laughs> next, uh, the next sl slide, the next video is gonna be of me finding out that I was expecting, and then showing Kevin. And yeah, that's it. So I just wanted to make this video and put this out here and. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But for those of you, for those of you that have any questions or that have been stick sticking around because of my Scentsy videos, 
I appreciate it so much. Um, I cannot thank you enough for watching my videos. Yes, I'm okay. Are you okay? We gotta put your shorts on. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Days the whole time, I was like, Yeah, you know, you're like, Shut up. And I'm like, You know, come on. How'd you know? Baby, why do you doubt me? <laughs> why do you doubt me? 
Well, we'll do a whole lot. I like how I took it like five days early and it said nothing. It's too short for sticking early. This one said you can. I know, you're not supposed to take them until after you miss it already. I know, but this one says you can. Can, but they're not. You should take them whenever, but they're not really accurate. Give it one try a chance. Okay, baby. It don't take much. It don't take much. Two of us, Steve, don't take much. I'm <laughs> oh, oh, trying to be excited. Don't be nervous. It's gonna be fun. What? We gotta do insurance today. Yes, I know. <laughs> Let's go.